In this session, we'll see how to create a connection to relational database and how to import tables from relational database and flat files. So first, let's see how to import a flat file. Before that, we need to place the flat file in a particular folder in Informatica. So you should go to Informatica, PC Express, Tomcat, then and you see source and target source flat file should be here and target flat file should be here so in source we see customer.txt this would be uh, we'd be importing this particular flat file to informatica so in informatica in the project right click and then select data object so here we need to select flat file data object then browse select the flat file open next so here ours is a delimited flat file delimited in the sense it uh, the column data are separated by comma or uh, quotes or whatever delimiters and uh, one more type is the fixed width so the fields are aligned in columns so in this ours is a comma delimited file and there are no quotes and uh, we have a column name uh, in the first line so we'll be importing the column names from the first line so we will be importing it from the first line itself the data and if you see here it will automatically assign what is the data type and what would, should be the precision we can change the data type and precision here if we want and then click finish so here we can see our customer flat file is imported. So if we run here, we can check on the column data. So now let's see how to import a relational table from a relational database. So today I'll be showing you how to import data from SQL Server. So here create connection, it's database, next. And here we'll give name SQL Server and uh, domain is localhost and uh, Microsoft SQL Server is the database. Next. So here we should give the, uh, you can give the username or password whatever you use to log in the SQL Server. Or otherwise use trusted connection here. And here we need to give the host name host name will be our computer name and the SQL server name and then we will be giving the database name I'm using training here yeah. Yeah. And I think this is not required. Yeah. Then test the connection. So connection is successful. So finish. Yes. So now we'll see how to import the data. Again, right click new data object. So here is a relational data object. Next, what is the connection? SQL Server. Okay. Then what is the data? It is DBO tables. We'll take the store data. Okay. And finish. So now if you see, it has we have imported the relational table store data from SQL Server and these are the column names and data types. Thank you.